Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the Dope It Star Ladder Star Series iLeague Season 3. We're here in game number two, and oh my goodness gracious me, oh my, the picks are already coming fast and furious. They have just ran through this drafting stage. Uh, I'm Lyrical, going to be joined as well by Lacoste, and well, it's Team Liquid versus Navi. What else need be said? How did you feel about game number one? Yo, it's me again. It feels like it's the same as game number two, judging by the picks. Uh, Game number one, uh, Navi did really well, uh, placed Observer wards, but this, they seem to have failed to get those kills and uh, kill Elk a few more times. If they did it, I think it would have been a bit different game if they tried to like kill Elk two more times, but uh, Miracle was playing so cautious. Uh, if you watch the game right now, uh, it feels like we're casting a replay, except the part <laughs> that uh, Navi, <laughs> that Navi banned that X uh, for that dazzle because it caused a lot of problems yeah. to Navi. I was, I, I was, I, I'm still expecting to see Ember Spirit this game as well from Navi. Yeah, uh, it it's the same, same two picks: Slarder Timber so against Underlord Dazzle, and it went so fast as well. Yeah, to pick. totally, it really did. Um, well, and it's kind of, it's almost interesting to me. Like, Navi, they're like, oh, yeah, Axe, that's a hero. I forgot about him. Or, you know, I, I don't know. It felt maybe a little bit weird. Maybe they just thought that they were going to be able to get away with it. In any case, uh, it is going to be the Batrider now taken as well. Maybe the Matumba Man run on or Timbersaw was a little bit of a, a shake to them as well as a possibility. Um, but in either case, they're now running the Underlord Batrider. So expecting this to be a position for Underlord again, which is kind of making a little bit of a comeback. People liking to see that. Do you like Underlord in that position? And it, does it sort of limit you in other ways throughout your draft? I, I don't find it that strong but it, because it doesn't have uh, early kill potential. It does if you have some kind of stun uh, in terms of you using Firestorm, but uh, pretty much people gonna uh, skill a Trophy Aura mm. before Pit of Malice. So at level four, which you're gonna be at minute five, minute six, you're gonna have a level one Pit of Malice, which only lasts a little bit less than a second. I don't know if that's enough. That hero move speed is not so good. As well, he needs boots of speed, as we saw in the uh, game before the last one. When uh, who played it, uh, Soniko played it. He did uh, really good in yeah. the early game. But uh, I think that hero needs to tank up. He he needs to be played as a core. Nan, it seems very strange to me that also be running it with the Dazzle because they're running into the exact same issue that they had last time where they just don't have any lockdown. Like, you have Batrider to deal with the Timber Saw and then taking the Shadow Fiend mid now. Like, I, I am just... It's, they're running the exact same trap from Liquid. They're doing everything that they want, uh, pretty much. Oh, wait, no, no, that was the game before this. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's still the same problem. Well, it's combined. It's two games combined into one game. Yeah. Uh, well, Underlord and Dazzle are heroes that work really well together because of the uh, amount of heal coming from both of them, especially if Underlord goes for a, for a mech. Uh, but in early early game, they are not so mobile. It's easy It's easy to dodge, let's call those ganks. You can't gank with the Dazzle, and with Underlord you can, but uh, a little bit later, after five, six, seven minutes, and uh, the, 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 they're not heroes that... Uh, move easily around the map. If you look at, I don't know, Bounty Hunter, Ricky Maru, Earth Spirit, uh, Rubik, these are heroes that uh, can gank easily. Th those two are really not. And the thing that I'm worried about now as well is that you have the same problem that you're probably going to run into where Slardar and Rubik are going to be able to roam around the map. And it's going to be harder for them to find the kills than they found on Ember Spirit because they don't have the dire side where you can get that nice little wraparound through the trees. Uh, but Shadowfiend could still get dove here, particularly if they start to really aggressively invade the Radiant Jungle. And I, I'm just concerned about the dive potential they have in Liquid. They've yet to reveal the mid player. Like It, it, it feels like Dazzle is almost going to have to camp Shadowfiend mid to keep him alive in this game. We'll see what uh, Liquid picks. Uh, they still lack a mid hero, as you said. So I'm looking forward to see what's going on on the mid lane. Uh, it's always fun to play against Shadow Fiend. It was one of my favorite heroes to play against because that hero is like a creep early game, just favorite to kill. Yeah. Just, just love to kill that hero. Uh, 
Also, good, good Rubik game, uh, good spells to steal from Dazzle and Underlord. Yeah. Also, they lack Lockdown for Nerubian Weaver. See Underlord, Pit of Malice, and Bat Rider, Lasso, and that's it. Yeah, just it, it, plus plus all the other stuff you need to focus on in team fights. Like it, maybe, maybe out of Navi they go like oh, Necro's already been banned. I was gonna say that would be an interesting one, and then have like Shadow Fiend be able to burst through somebody. But maybe I don't even know what Navi need to go for in the last pick. Something with some amount of control, like at least a stun for me. Yeah, they need they they, they lack stun. Uh, I want to see Invoker coming out from Team Liquid or or that one. That hero is always fun to watch. Those double. Uh, double searing chains is just so damn good. Totally. And then the then the last game didn't even have a blink dagger. I think that was a bit a bit of a mistake. He couldn't position himself. Ten seconds hmm. remaining. Yeah, I, I guess maybe just wanting to get into items that would allow him to Five tank up a little bit or whatever, or survive longer, deal more damage in the fight. Like uh, they were they were working at such a deficit at that point too that it was just so hard for it to to work out. Um, but Navi, last pick right now, safe lane hero, maybe going to go with the stun. Is there anything that really strikes your fancy, or do you think it's pretty okay with whatever? I don't know about... Um... Maybe Sven, is that still a hero in Dota 2 anymore? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. It, it was played at Dota Pit, especially, it's a good suggestion from you, suggestion from you, uh, especially versus Weaver and Slark, the to give that bonus armor. I mean, uh, Sven as a, as a hero is not so strong anymore because that hero, the way he was played uh, before you went for Helm of the Dominator. Oh, nice. Uh, as goes for Sven, you went for Helm of the Dominator and then you stacked some ancient camps and uh, farmed forest. Now it's, it's a bit harder because creeps spawn every two minutes and uh, you don't pretty much have anyone to stack you those ancients so it's a little bit out of meta but it could have worked out here as well chaos knight i i love i love this hero do you love it against slard or timber saw i don't love it against timber saw <laughs> but uh, i love it in general if okay. you just look at chaos knight against no one he's a good <laughs> hero but if you look look what team liquid has then then it's not not such a great hero that's really rough yeah well well this is this is feeling like it, there's a potential for a lot of trouble for chaos knight but uh, they might end up being able to pull it off podcat running it we'll see how he ends up doing uh early predictions do you think that that navi have a chance here liquid obviously were incredibly dominant last game what's what's your read on this the way that this is well everyone has a chance in winning even winning a game we're not say from the start that one team is going to lose but uh I think Liquid has an upper hand in this because of the draft they have against. They got their hands on uh, on Slardar and on uh, Timbersaw. And they have this uh, position for Underlord, which I'm not a big fan of from what I saw. It doesn't scale that good. He needs levels and he needs farm to be efficient so he can tank up. Yeah, no, definitely. And that's something that we're going to have to see if he's able to get into that amount of farm early on. Look at this Chaos Knight set, by the way. This thing is beautiful. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is. Look, look at it. Just look so at that amazing. shield. Oh, man. Where do you get this set? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I want to see a mid matchup. Uh, SF versus, uh, versus Ember Spirit. Sorry, As, I... uh, it can it can go both ways mm -hmm. because uh, Shadowfin he just uh, removes uh, they're gonna be pretty much the same level so Shadowfin removes uh, his flame guard with two raises oh yeah depends depends how how game's gonna be played who's gonna come mid but uh, uh, Ember Spirit has a upper hand especially if he gets. Uh, Level six before him, he can just dive in those triple remnants plus uh, flame guard and searing chains. If he goes in on him, he can't remove his shield because of the uh, being able to use only one raise. Good. Like good. you, could, if he dives you, you can only use one raise, and that's the closest one. He's just gonna be at your hundred range, so right. you can't remove it if he dives you. So, I expect 
some early ganks from uh, Team Liquid. They want to give uh, some advantage to Miracle because of that, so he can just be at a better position later on. Just get that level 6 and then get some more kills. Shadowfin is just going to be food if it's that kind of scenario, but we'll see. So I like this movement down as well. Slardar, he is going to end up going in there. He drops down a ward, hangs out, breaks the smoke that comes. But because of that, he ends up actually revealing his ward placement by Navi. So uh, it does end up mounting to a lost ward in this bottom lane. But it looks like they are going to be just sticking with mind control alone up in the top lane. And wasn't fully expecting it to be a mind control weaver. It, yeah, I, he plays it. Well, it's a uh, Matumba man on... Uh... Yeah. Man on Timber so so it uh, had to be. Uh, we see a lot of players like uh, they like to switch. For example, uh, when Kuroki and um, Matumba Man are playing uh, stuff like Pudge and uh, I don't know, they like to switch switch uh, roles. Same goes for when uh, Black from Team Faceless plays Pudge. He he goes to position four, right from carry position. Oh, speaking of some trouble down here, General running away. He's, that's not your tower, man. You need to get the hell out of here. He's going to end up dropping down. First blood drawn by GH. And, well, Boots first is pretty good on the slaughter, it turns out. Yeah, it always is. Just give them that extra movement. Uh, Chaos Knight is going to farm. Free farm at the top lane. But so will Matumba Man on bottom lane. Yeah. This is going to be interesting to see how this works out, too. I haven't seen a lot of CK, and actually, Talent Tree, Reality Rift pierces spell immunity. If he gets to level 25, that is actually spectacular. That's a really cool one. Do you go that or cooldown reduction, do you think? Cooldown reduction uh, on who? On CK? 20%. On CK? Uh, depends uh, how the game goes. Uh, none of these uh, heroes in Team Liquid have... Um, BKB carrier hero. Okay. Ember is not. Timber is not. Slardar. It's a position four Slardar. It might be if he gets farm, but they don't need it, so he's gonna probably go for a cooldown reduction. All right. We also see this movement out now. Liquid. They're gonna go and contest both of the bounty runes. They pick up the ones on the side of Navi's map and might even be able to pick up the other ones as well. As Biver. Oh, 5 HP, but GH is there. Oh, he misses oh. his crutch. In a little bit of trouble now. He's also getting hit by the tower. Can they find this kill? They have RMN in the area bringing nice him low. Biver is going to die. And, well, now PyCat on top of mind control. He is going to drop also. So Team Liquid with a pretty serious little mistake there. Let's see how the mid goes. 12 versus 9 CS in favor of... Shadowfin, it's pretty even. Yeah. Is this something that you would expect in this matchup? Yeah, it's pretty pretty even matchup. Both both are gonna farm. Shadowfin can just clear the wave and just farm forest. Maybe stack it if it's a good timing. Yeah. Well, and meanwhile. But, uh, it's it's kind of something where you'd expect that those rotations would come, but they brought the Underlord in to try and help defend against that movement. Um, it, when level 6 comes around, does that change anything for Miracle? Uh, yeah, it does. He, he is so much stronger than uh, when Shadowfin hits level 6. It doesn't practically do anything on Shadowfin, but uh, for Miracle, he becomes like two times stronger hero on level 6. If you see a, a Roman on Underlord, he's farming uh, with Quelling Blade in jungle, mm. which is uh, what I saw some people doing it. But uh, there, there's a ward from Team Liquid. GH has a vision on him. And just yeah. try to steal some XP from that. Maybe even steal the creeps. Oh yeah, gonna punish that one and yeah. actually able to take that one away. Yeah, so he got it. Well done. Sneak it. Sneaky little GH. <laughs> sprinting around, causing mischief. Roman is going to head back into here now, though, and they're just keeping their eyes on it. Also able to steal away a bounty rune, so Liquid has pretty consistently been able to come and contest. This is something that we've seen a lot of GH doing, is just making sure he picks up as many of those bounty runes as he can and really heavily prioritizing uh, going into the enemy jungle for it. Oh, Dendi. Chasing Miracle, that's kind of bold, but pushes them away from the shrine. 
doesn't get the full value out of it. Dendi's been having a really good game this time around. Yeah, it's 25 against uh, 13, double the CS. Well, Pitlord is uh, standing on top of the hill. They're trying to push mid tower. Has siege creep as well, just to do some damage. We're gonna use two raises to clear the creep wave. Yeah. Radiance Bottom lane as well. Pressure being mounted. GH is here with mind control, and it's a big creep wave coming in for PyCat. They reality raft back in. Mind control stun as well, but the turnaround stun is also going to be there. Bugs now on, and might chase down PyCat a little bit. Mind control took another one of those tower blasts, so a little bit unfortunate for them. They couldn't dive it, and looks like Navi will be able to walk away unscathed. So, pretty fine for the moment. Um, yeah, pretty even game. Two, two, five minutes. Uh, Level 5 Shadowfiend, level 5 Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit lacks a bit of XP to get that level 6. Well, the early rotations I was expecting haven't completely amounted to a ton of kills, but now PyCat is just going to get ran on. They have Ivor in the area, but no mana for Grave! I don't know if it would have mattered anyways. It, it probably would have, but geez, that hurts. Unfortunate, actually. Uh, oh my God. Lubick, pretty high level, almost level five. Yeah. Does is this a situation now where, like, how how is it that one of these teams taking advantage, or what do you feel like is going to be the main go point for them to start trying to move towards objectives? Well, they're just. Uh, it's, it's not like they have some. Uh, mid the game objective because they don't know how the game is gonna turn mm -hmm. but uh, they're just trying to farm get some uh, th because these heroes uh, underlord and dazzle they're not uh, really don't have much ganking potential they're better if the enemy team dives you so they just need to be at the right position at the right time that, for navi they're, they're, that's what they need to do oh you know what kuroki just saw that they used the speed boost on the courier and he might walk back in to try and get the snipe on this as it comes back out yeah yeah i just saw it like he, he's trying to do it oh man yeah, the ward the ward he placed just saw it mm -hmm. okay will he have enough damage to do it the bottle is coming back for some reason to okay. pick up a ward and tp all right man they've actually caught on to him now and they realize what's going to happen is well miracle taking a lot of damage from dendy here the raises can they quite finish no he's going to walk away but now the snipe on the courier now nah, they can't go for it they're just going to back out don't want to push their luck bottom lane more damage going in as they're trying to control up mind control they do not have another stun as chaos knight is out of mana Let's see what Chaos Knight will build. It's a classic build for now. Power Treads and Magic Wand in quick buy. After that, after that, maybe a Helm of the Dominator to get some extra stats because he he lacks mana. Before drums were oh, oh gee, will it be enough? Taking will it the be courier. Enough? Yeah. Yeah, they are yeah, going to be able will. to find one kill down there in the top lane, but then on the other side, GH is going to probably sacrifice his life. Well, maybe not. Trying to get... Oh, there's a raise. Yeah, there's no way. Dendi came on in, so they punished the bounty steal, and I guess down bottom it was just a kill on the Weaver? Uh, yeah, they got the Weaver. Barely, but got him. Yeah, I like how two, two of us work together. Everyone's <laughs> seeing <laughs> one side of the map. We... We got each other covered, bro. What a guy. Awesome. Bestest. <laughs> oh, Bestest test. That's right. As uh, It looks like they're going to move in for some more damage onto the... Well, I guess they're thinking about trying to do something here in mid for Miracle, but it's just been a very passive. Get your farm up. Try and find those levels. And God, Ember Spirit, every time he walks in, is just getting that Flame Guard taken down. Yeah, I, I mentioned it before. Two two raises will be enough just to take that flame guard off. Mm -hmm. And look at the CS fifty eight against twenty six. That's even more than double for Shadowfiend. Dendy's back, everybody. I think that's what we can all know from this little statistic right here. Dendy was never gone. <laughs> Dendy was go. always here, at least in our hearts. <laughs> True enough. So, 
see if Miracle can deal with this pressure that's coming out. How do you come back into this game if you're Miracle at this point, considering how far behind he is in terms of CS? Well, he's one and a half level below SF and 25 creeps below. He just needs to, to get some good uh, plays from uh, GH and Rubik and just be, be in fights to get back into the game. He, he can farm. Oh I mean, man! Shadow thing just flash farms over to the side here. GH is going to get gone upon. There's multiple TPs that are rotating in. Mind control trying to dive for this one, but he might end up paying the cost. But never oh, mind. The big jump from, from Matumba. He hasn't killed Fiverr that yo, and now you know, Dendi doing a good bit as well. He's rotating Beaver back in for a TP. They might be able oh. to make that happen. Uh, Matumba is going to we'll be able to find him. that one. Now looking for more. Now General in some trouble. He is going to die. So nice three play, dead. Nice it was looking good for a second with Dendi, but he just couldn't do but enough then, damage. Matumba man just de dealt like oh. 500 insta damage to three of them. God, and look at this now. Dendi yeah. in trouble is going to drop. They bring in Pycat. He wants to find something here, and CK is they're gonna not going to do well. it. Oh, jeez, oh, no. My God. Oh, Liquid ripping throats that's, out. That's the play they needed to come back into the game. That's what I was talking about. The others making the plays and... Uh, Miracle getting a kill on that shadow fiend. Lordy, lordy. That is one of those moments that you hate to see as a Navi fan, but Liquid certainly looking strong here. And I mean, Matumba Man's going to be going back in towards this cloak here, or rather the hood, which is going to be completed if he wants to go pick it up from the side shop. I don't know how you kill him at this point. It's going to be really tough. Yes, for now, it's all magical damage. Output from Navi, so he is all good. You can just turn that on. 325 magic block, which is just plus. He has uh, how much? Let me check. 47% uh, magic resistance. Oh lordy. Yeah, that is tough. Meanwhile, you can see GH is... I mean, look at how scared Navi is here. A couple of heroes are missing from the map. They see that Slardar is moving over this direction, throwing Amp on Shadowfiend. He can't farm comfortably. Navi are completely hemmed in now and going to need to make some yeah. type of a play. Liquid is playing so aggressive, considering oh. that they still didn't take tier 1 mid tower. Oh, General Grave. Going to oh. TP. That was a nice play. All right, no chains, and he is going to escape, so... Well played there by Biver, able to come in and help out his buddy. But now they found two with RMN and Dendi. Miracle just passing by saying hi, searing chains. High five. 12 minutes in now, five to nine is the score, but you can take a look at the net worth graph heavily into the favor of Liquid as well. 3,000 uh, net worth and around 1,500 experience. How does the next couple of minutes shape up for both of these teams? Liquid will just try to play as aggressive as they can because they have what they need. Uh, they don't have the items, but they have the levels and the heroes to fight them. Oh, three oh, seconds yes, done on Miracle. They have the Pit of Malice down on Kuroki. This might be the turnaround that they need. They're already able to take down one, now looking for another. They pull back in Miracle. The Remnant goes out, but oh, they're not going to be able to catch up to it now. Another stun could come from PyCat, but with Blink online, they weren't quite able to do enough with uh, Batrider. He had to use Lasso earlier to escape from that last gank. Yeah, Batrider just showed his Blink dagger, so they know he has it. So they will be more careful. Just try to maybe use Scan just to see if he's going for a gank. But uh, overall, General is pretty farmed. Has a Blink dagger bottle considering what he was laning against. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's it, I, it still feels to me as if they have the ways to get back into it. Maybe a pick off on mind control would be the thing that does it. He jukes out to the side. Uh, good decision to head this way instead. Um, well, maybe not. General spots him. He's like, oh, you're still here? Let's hang out for a second. They don't have any reveal, but CK, oh, uh, time lapses. <laughs> what is Mind Control doing? All right, they have found him finally, and there's the pull-in. Can they kill him off in time? Pycat here. Stun. No, it's not enough. Uh, he just walks back in again. All right, this yeah, is... What, what is he going to do? Just stand here yeah. for the next... Yeah, they, they use scan. Oh, stay Yo, still. It's so close. They got him. They got him. Oh, Pycat will run Pycat, Pycat knows. Pycat knows. Yeah. 
There's the stun. There's the reality rift trying to find it. General, he's going to sneak away again. Buy some dust. <laughs> Navi, get yourself reveal. What is he this? Has another TP. 37 seconds cooldown. Maybe he TPs out. Actually, he's just going to run. All right. Mean, meanwhile, space created. Uh, That's what Timber we saw. <laughs> Timber saw killing that <laughs> tier 2 tower bottom and has a. Oh, his item finished. Man, yeah, he, he has is enough gold if he disassembles arcane boots. Yeah, and Slaughter got his blink dagger. It's gonna be so easy to fight for Team Liquid right now. Slaughter is TPing. Oh, they want to take this pie cap behind the tower, and I don't know if they realize that this is what happened. He did make the long path around. He was eating up through the trees, and now is gonna send the illusions. This is actually a really great playback. Pie cat gonna be able to immediately jump on it. The agent is gonna die, so a great catch out there. It means no blink dagger from Slardar. Mind control trying to run away, but a really nice play there by Pycat. Yeah, mind control again doing his thing. Oh, oh Shadow Fin. Dendi in some trouble. Firestorm down as well, trying to get out of there, but Miracle's here as well. They get the nice grave. grave coming out from All Dazzle. Right. Turnaround might come about Let's now. Let's see if it's gonna be enough. Yep, heal, dodges one of the chains, mind control goes through him, they do find that kill, but that also yeah, took down Weaver. Okay. Uh, Weaver, Weaver was there like three minutes ago as well, <laughs> his spot. <laughs> he finally ends up dying to it. Kuroki is going to grave oh, himself. Kuroki, nice play. You know, flame break no. should kill him in base though, I think. Oh, no. no, it's not no. quite enough. So, well he played by Kuroki. have mana for Lasso. Top lane, Pycat stuns up. This fight has been going on for a while now. There's just running around the map, and they're going to end up finally losing Pycat. So I, I don't know. It looks like that's pretty heavily favoring Team Liquid. Like, they lost Shadow yeah, Fiend and Shadow Fiend. is getting some kills, but in return, the, they're giving so much more. And they're not killing the cores. They, they just killed the position four, Slardar, and that, that's it. Well... Now, Lasso uh, is ready. General gonna walk in. Shadowfiend only has 18 souls. It's not gonna be enough for a fight. Not enough for a Roshan either, unfortunately. So, Liquid back out and. As you can see, this uh, position 4 Underlord, it's not quite working. He is 1 3 3, and look at his item. I mean, he's still gonna do. His thing in a uh, in a team fight, but he lacks items to be tanky. Yeah, and I, this is a, a lineup where that can't really afford to happen. He's a really big target for Timbersaw to hit with his full combo, and well, honestly, like, even with the bugs on him, RMN needs to be really careful here. So, a tough one right now, indeed. If you're uh, if you're RMN, so at least in the meantime. Chaos Knight trying to build into a Helmet Dominator. He went for a Midas. Do you like this Midas. pickup? Yeah, I, I like the build. He needs to get back into the game. He didn't have uh, much farm at the start. Uh, he's uh, at what position? Five in net worth. Oh, Viber though. He gets the grave off. That's That was Heck, necessary. He's gonna, he's gonna live, but CK used his ultimate. Close to being able to find that pick eventually, but it's yeah, that's really unfortunate. It's a long cooldown too. Yeah, if you look at Miracle's items, uh, he's not going for that Veil build into Boots of Travel. He just went for Power Treads and going for Lincoln Sphere so that they can't kill him, which is really smart. Oh, geez, and now Dendi is just going to drop again. They're going to be able to chase this further. They found General and trying to get the Dark Rift out. Matumba Man doesn't have enough damage there quickly enough to They're find the kill. They're just going to back out. Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, players on Slardar, after they get Blink, they love to go for uh, Midas after that, which I prefer. But uh, sometimes if you think the game's not going to end, if you think the game's not going to last, uh, they prefer to go for uh, four Staff, which is also good you, you need you need to have that feeling if the game is gonna end in the next 10 minutes mm -hmm. 7 10 minutes let's say or it's gonna last a little longer than that so you just go for midas and then you you have one more hero secured for a late game yeah definitely 
Uh, you can also see now that Timbersaw's starting to get his, his Bloodstone charges up too, so uh, they're in a position where they can accelerate and, and try and end that game early as another smoke play, but it's just so hard to find that kill. They're going to go and look for the Remnant, and this is pretty heads up, General. Spots him out, but there's the Remnant away, so not quite perfectly on the mark, but it was a nice idea from Navi. And they might they end see, up losing oh, Dendi. They see Shadow Fiend. Oh god, Amp Shadow Fiend is crush. alone. The, They're diving everywhere. A... Yeah, he's just... Uh, Dendi, after a nice start, has just been completely hemmed in. Even Weaver has a uh, Lincoln Sphere. So that's a uh, second one coming out of them in the next few minutes. Which is gonna be really hard for Navi to fight. They only have Lasso and CK stuff to cancel it. Yeah, it's pretty god awful for dealing with the like, Lincolns. This is this is rapidly going to start going out of control. I feel like, and it might end up looking like last game. If you're Navi at this point, what's your plan? What's your 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 go to move? Is there anything really outside of just trying to buy for more time? I think they need to not get picked off and try to get a pick off for them with bat riders some smokes or maybe a pit lord alt yeah. and that's it they need to play passive at the moment except trying to find a kill with uh, bat rider i mean their picks as i mentioned during the pick phase in terms of dazzle and underlord don't have much kill potential mm -hmm. and uh, they need to move with a ck bat rider plus one hero to get a kill especially when the two lincolns are up yeah, you can see this Lincoln Sphere, it's, it's just completely preventing them from doing anything. And you would love to be able to go on to Miracle right now, down to half HP, no Flame Guard up, but they just can't make they the initiation. <laughs> Ugh. Somewhat heartbreaking there. But net worth lead, 10,000, they're still stalking them, and, well, the pinks come out, they realize, yeah, okay, we should probably run away now. Um, they have Dark Rift if they want to go for it. Just very... Very safe play by Liquid right here. Yeah, they're just going look at the war they have. Then they pretty much see everything on this side of the map. They see Navi's movement, really good placement of the wards. And then slowly they're just gonna try to take tier 2 towers and have a good Roche in Slaughter's ult as well. So the Roche goes down quickly. They just need to create more space so they feel more secure to go on Roche. And Miracle has Arcane Rune. This is the best rune. This Remember is, Spirit. This is yeah. so scary. And he can just Besides, run at him. Double damage late game. Right. I'd say. But I'd, I'd still go for for uh, Arcane Rune instead of DD maybe. All right. Well, here we Anytime. go. A big chance right now for them to actually go for initiation. Liquid is backing out. They need to be careful on the side of Navi. If they yeah. happen to put themselves in a bad position, they could end up overextending. Yeah, but look at the bottom lane, meanwhile. Liquid just oh, God. split pushing them. The, the, Navi doesn't have much catch, you see. They're trying to do something, but they can't. It feels so so hopeless for them. It's like you, you're losing the game, but you need you need to get back into the game somehow. But they try to go top, but they don't have anything to go with. So look at this Weaver with Lincoln Sphere just trying to split push, they're trying Ooh. to go on top. And now they're going to pick them off as they back out. They're, they're not all together, and they're going to be able to catch our man Roman going down and is going to drop, so... Now the fight becomes even that much more difficult while the Tier 3 tower is almost taken in the bottom lane. Uh, across the board, Liquid, just... They know what they need to accomplish, and they're getting it done time and again. And now they're going to go Roche, look at the... TP coming out from Weaver with bugs and Slaughter all. they're just going to do it. It's being pinged. Well, we can start taking a look maybe at some of the talents, see if that finds any way to get them back into yeah, this maybe now. They get, maybe they get some good talents at level 15, 20 on yeah. Navi's side to see if they can turn it. Uh, yeah, CK, it's a no. Shadow Fiend, it's a no. Underlord, no. Yeah, it's a no. <laughs> it's a no. That's, I think it's that's no. what we can leave it but, at. Oh, wait, hold yeah, up the, there. The, There's a big fight here as they've caught on to... Well, Miracle trying to go into Dendi, but General... Oh, good jump away. Oh. And now... I mean, Liquid is still taking this. This isn't by any means free, as General does have no, a blink in a second. Now we can still contest it to 
Jump forward. Matumbo not going to be able to control him out. Pycat is going to end up jumping back into it now. He's controlled and has popped his ulti, but all of his illusions are already very low. And they they actually can't stay around any longer. They have been able to catch on to Miracle, though. That's a jump forward. A good Let's crush see, from GH. Miracle. Is it going to be enough? It looks like he's going to be able to survive through it. Meanwhile, Dendi popping the BKB. They run away. Nobody dead as of yet, but they jump through with Matumbo Man and kill off Pycat. And now looking for more general on his last legs. And Araman does not have Dark Rift at this point to get the rest of his team out. Looks like General is going to survive for a second, and oh, breaking Blink Dagger, but Force Staff can be back up in a second for GH. Matumba chasing down Roman. He is going to almost fall. Miracle was so low, but they couldn't get the kill. Four dead from Na'Vi, and Roshan still on the menu. It promising for Na'Vi at one point, like uh, when um, Ember went in and dropped to very low HP. He's just buying time for his team. He knows the hero perfectly. And then Timberso goes in and they oh. really don't have anything to deal with that super farm Timberso. 19 Mir charges on him, zero deaths, 25 minutes. Miracle diving for the Dazzle basically to the tier fours at this point. And I mean, PyCat's got a Midas, so <laughs> you never know. There's yeah, a chance. You never know what, what can happen. I agree. I think. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. If he has that 20% cooldown reduction, he can use Midas faster. There you go. That's the dream yeah. right there. They broke the Lincolns, but couldn't get the catch on to Miracle. Is he just remnants away again? This is the thing that always feels like it. it it's the, the biggest part of Liquid's drafts is that they play very safe. They don't try and overextend, and almost sometimes to a fault, but you can see this time around, it's going to be hard for them to throw this game. It really will. I mean, they gave they gave Aegis to Weaver, who has Lincoln Sphere, Dragon Lance, and Maelstrom. What a monster! Oh, and yeah, just a casual reckoning of souls by Kuro as well. It's about to come off cooldown. As Aramen, just not running long around. for this world. A Tumba Man, twenty Bloodstone charges. He knew his fate there, just, okay, let me die. You know, I, I will say, uh, we're maybe being a little bit harsh on Na'Vi here, they, they're a team that has just formed their very first game as their full official squad, and particularly in game one, I felt like there was parts of their draft that looked really strong, and I, I thought that their play was pretty good. Um, yep. Yeah, well, what's your read on it? Uh, both games, they had, I think they didn't draft well, they, they lacked... Oh, God. Uh, Oh my god. They, they lacked uh, some control in, in the picks and the initiation, but overall they played the, the laning phase and the, the mid game, first mid game, first part of the mid game they played really well. Then after that, they could just do control of the game. Both, God, both and, games. And it's not really stopping now either. I mean, they ran after CK, took him down. Oh, Araman doesn't even get off any mm. of his abilities as Spore Staff Forward is going to take a ton of damage from this one. Meanwhile, Miracle may end up against Dendi. The BKB pops and immediately out. As soon as that BKB is down for Dendi, they all run away. Knew exactly what it was they wanted to accomplish, and now they're going to go back in. Round two, ding, 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 and General already going to go down. Biverswell going to TP out of here, but there's the lift from Kuro. He was never going to escape, as it looks like the barracks are going to fall. They're, they're so farmed, but Liquid uh, loves to play. They don't overextend in team fights, and there's the GG being called. Uh, they don't overextend. They just play safe when they, when they think... The game might go wrong, they just back. In team fights as well, they just go in, they don't overextend, get one, two kills back, try to get force buy back if they have. If not, they take a tower, they just take it slow. Really, really calm team. Oh my god, I'm getting all of the notifications about the bracket stuff or whatever the heck it's called. Why are these things showing up right now? Apparently British rap music played well. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> game number two. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast again. Self as well as Lacoste, your two casters for this one. Lyrical, I didn't say my name. I probably should have done that. Navi versus Team Liquid. It's a 2-0 clean sweep for Liquid, who just looked un nigh unstoppable. And uh, we're going to get to see them again in just a second when they face off against Alliance, one of the other big bad boys on this European qualifiers.
Cost, any final words about these two teams and the, the way that you see them going forward? Their, maybe their place within EU? Uh, Navi, new, newly formed team. I think they need to find their play style. The new patch came. They have strong individuals. But I think they, they, they need some more time to feel the chemistry between the players and find their play style. As for Team Liquid, I, I just love this team. Uh, how they play and I think they will go far this year All really. right. and this tournament specifically and the whole year as well they, they've been really consistent yeah well, well I'm, I think that we're all excited to see how it ends up working out uh, again a bit of a rough start but they're also going up against what's probably the strongest team in the group so we'll see how they fare against a couple of those other teams I think that probably Cloud9, Adfinum uh, those will be a little bit more even matchups to me more on the same level but for anybody's uh, we will be back in just a little bit with our third series of the day Liquid facing off against Alliance and it's sure to be a doozy so stick around everybody you're watching the Starletter iLeague Star Series Season 3 we're right back e 